Hey guys, Procreate has one great tool called QuickShape. QuickShape snaps hand-drawing lines and shapes into perfect forms. With the QuickShape you can easily draw perfect circles, squares, triangles, arches and lines. And in this tutorial I will show you how to activate, use, uh, edit and scale and rotate shapes using QuickShape in Procreate. Now to activate the QuickShape, first we have to go to Actions, Preferences, and then gesture controls. Now we'll scroll and find quick shape right here. You will notice that it has a lot of options that you can assign to the quick shape uh, feature. I usually suggest going with draw and hold because it works um, great with this particular feature and usually that's what everyone does in Procreate. They use this draw and hold um, feature and I usually go with around 65 seconds delay if you want if, if you want to use the drawing hold Simply just toggle in to turn it on and click done Now let's take a look how it actually works uh, with the quick shape, li shape line So let's say you want to draw a perfectly straight line. How would you do that? Well first you have to take any uh, brush. I will go with monoline brush. That's my favorite brush by the way so now I will take my pencil and to, to create a perfectly straight line, you have to take your pencil, draw a line and without lifting your pencil, stop in place and wait. And after a moment, the line will turn into a perfectly straight line. So let's do it again. Draw a line, stop, keep your pencil on the canvas, don't lift it up, wait one second and now the line will turn into a perfectly straight line. We can do it one more time, draw, wait. And here you go, the perfectly straight line. You can create horizontal lines and you can that way create also vertical lines. It's the same process. So you draw a line, you wait one second and the line will turn into a perfectly straight line. Here we go. That's very, very easy. Now, let's say you want to create a perfect shape. How would you do that? Well, it works pretty much the same as creating a straight line. All you have to do is take your pencil, draw any, any shape you want to the best of your abilities. I will draw a circle. Then uh, when you draw, uh, when you stop, just hold your pencil. And after a second, this, uh, your stroke will snap into a perfectly uh, perfect shape. So now I have a circle. Let's, let's try it. Let's create it one more time. So I'll take my pencil. I'll draw a circle. Wait and it will snap to a perfect circle. Let's create, now you, you can create any shape like this. So let's create a triangle. So I'll create a triangle to the best of my abilities and I'll wait and until it snaps into the perfect shape. You can also create oval like that or you can create a rectangular or a square the same works the same. But let's say you create a shape which is cons which consists of the straight perfectly straight lines but is not really uh, equal, right? Every I mean it's a little crooked. So how to fix it? All you have to do is to draw any shape you want. In this case I will draw a square. Oops, let's try again. I'll draw a square. I will hold it then take another hand, take another finger and tap it on the screen. And now it turned into a perfect shape with equal sides and equal um, angles. So this is a perfect square. You can do the same thing with triangle. So all you have to do is just, oops. All you have to do is just draw a triangle, which won't be perfect at this point. But then we'll take the, uh, another finger, tap on the screen and it will turn my triangle into a uneven triangle into a equilateral one. So we have a perfect triangle here. And that's how it works. Another thing that you can do is you can edit your shape. So after creating a line or shape, you can edit it. To do that, we will um, now draw, uh, let's say we'll draw um, a, a circle. We will hold it lift up the pencil and you will notice this little button edit the shape so we'll press on it and it will well then when you're in edit shape mode you will see um, two available options 
and they will be determined by the initial shape. So I had this cir circular shape, which wasn't really clear, was it the oval, the ellipse, or was it a circle? So it gives me two options based on my initial shape. So it gives me an option, either I want to turn this into a perfect ellipse or I want it to perfect, uh, turn it into a perfect circle. Let's say I want to do a circle, so I will tap circle and it will snap into a perfect circle. But you also notice that you have this little blue nodes and you can um, edit your shape manually just by dragging this little node. So if, let's say I had a circle but I want to create an oval or la ellipse, so I will just take one my, uh, my pencil, I will tap this little blue node and I will m drag it to the place I want. Here we go. You can edit any shape, so if I uh, create a triangle, it will give me also three options, what, I, how, what, what I, I want to create, and let's say I want to do polyline, um, it will snap to a polyline. Here you go. But you can also edit it manually and drag it however you need. It depends on what you're actually looking for to get. And you can also, it also works with the square. We can create a square. We will tap and it will give me four options as well. So let's say I want rectangular. And here we go. But I can also do it manually by dragging any of these blue nodes. But just one thing to keep in mind, you would be able to edit your shape only immediately after you release your, uh, release your shape. So if you would um, draw a shape, then go ahead and draw another shape. You won't be able to go back and edit the first one. So let me show you. So let's say I created a circle. I have, I have this option of editing, editing in this shape. But let's say I didn't want to edit at this point, then I go, went ahead and created another shape. Um, now I can edit only this shape. I won't be able to go back and edit my first shape. So just um, keep that in mind. And um, if you need to edit your shape, you have to do it um, right away. You can also quickly scale and rotate the line or the shape you created. To do that, after drawing your shape or line, don't lift your finger from the canvas, keep holding it, and while you hold, uh, drag and adjust the scale or rotate by uh, just rotating your arm. So let me show you. Uh, let's say I wanted to create a circle. So without lifting my pencil, I will uh, drag my hand in or out to, make my, to um, adjust the scale of my uh, circle. To make it smaller, I will go in. To make it bigger, I will go out. And then to rotate my circle, I will just simply take my hand and I'll drag it around. I'll just rotate my Apple Pencil and my shape will also rotate. To rotate a line or shape in the precise uh, 15 degree increments, place a second finger on the canvas while, while dragging it. So let's say I have this uh, line and I want to um, rotate my line precisely 15 degrees. So I will take my finger, I'll place it, and I will move my line. So now you see it snaps to the every 15 increment, 15 degree increment, and that's very, very useful when you need to create something super straight. <laughs> you can also do the same with the shapes. So let's say I had this square. Now I will place my finger and I'll rotate it and you will notice that it snaps to every 15 degree increment. Yeah, it is a very useful feature that you might need to use one day. So that's all for this video. I hope this was useful and I hope you learned the quick um, shape tool and you will be use it in your next drawings.